spring onion and sesame knots. Ooh, yes, this recipe has finally landed and you know I've tested and made it as simple and accessible as possible. Quantities and written recipe in the caption. First step, mix one and a third cups of slightly warm water with two tablespoons of brown sugar. Stir to dissolve, then let it cool for five minutes before adding in the yeast. Set that aside for five to 10 minutes until it gets all nice and foamy. In the meantime, in the bowl of a stand mixer or just a large bowl, mix four cups of plain flour, two teaspoons of baking powder and a big pinch of salt. Then add the yeast mixture and start mixing it all together. And you can absolutely do this by hand. It'll just take some effort and some time. But once you start to see a dough form and there's no big obvious clumps of white flour, mix in about 50 grams of butter. You can use vegan butter and this whole recipe will be vegan, but mix the dough together until the butter is completely incorporated. Pour it out onto a surface and knead for a good 10 minutes steadily until the dough is soft, smooth, pliable, Roll it into a tight little ball, get it into a lightly greased bowl, cover with a tea towel and let it rise until it doubles in size. Mine took about two hours. Next, we'll finally slice a whole bunch of spring onions. I'm using as much as possible here. It's about four cups, but you can use as little as you want. I'm also mincing about ooh, eight cloves of garlic. I like it garlicky and oniony here, of course. And you could add a tablespoon of grated ginger, but I've chosen not to. To that mixture, we're adding a whole bunch of sesame seeds. Again, no measurements, just go with your gut. Add a hefty pinch of salt just to season it all up and about a quarter cup of oil. Give this a really good stir and then leave the mixture to soften a little. Now, once your dough has risen, it should look like this. It's puffy, it's kind of doubled in size. Just turn it out onto a work surface and knock out the air a little bit, just knead it a couple times. And then divide the dough into eight equal portions. Take one portion and keep the rest of the portions covered so that it doesn't dry out. On a floured surface, roll out that one single portion into a rough rectangular shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be about one to two millimeters thick. You don't want it too thick, otherwise you just get uncooked dough, um, but you don't want it too thin either. Lightly brush the surface of that dough with some sesame oil. Not too much, but enough to kind of give it a beautiful aroma. Then add a generous amount of that spring onion mixture, wall to wall, cover it. It smells incredible and it looks beautiful. Now take one of the edges and roll it up into a log shape. You just kind of want to tuck everything in and just scroll up that dough a little bit. So you get beautiful, beautiful layers. Then you want to pinch the seam closed, like pinch it tightly so that it's sealed up. That way it kind of keeps most of that filling inside. Then slice the log down the middle lengthways, exposing each of those layers. And then you take the two sides of the log and you start braiding them under and over each other. Just kind of tuck it under. It doesn't have to be pressed together or anything. You don't need to press anything down or firmly pinch it. It just has to kind of fold over one another. Then coil it up into this beautiful knot shape. Look at that. Oh, I just love the layers of dough and all those bright green spring onions. Repeat the process with the remaining portions of dough and then put them all onto a lined baking tray. Now pop these into the oven 25 to 30 minutes at 180 Celsius. Now look at these bad boys fresh out of the oven. Oh my lord, these look insane. But there's one more finishing touch. While they're still hot, brush each of the knots with a little bit of sesame oil, just a tiny bit more. It just gives them a beautiful gloss and it kind of just accentuates all that aroma. And then give them a sprinkle of good flaky salt. Let them cool a little bit and then dig into happiness. Oh God, yes. She's so pretty. <laughs> Oh, look how fluffy. Oh, damn. Crispy outside, fluffy inside. Oh, the aroma is great. Ooh. <laughs> oh my Lord. That's brilliant. So, so good.